PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools. Awesome day here in paradise. Great to see you here again. Hey, today I want to have a bit of a yarn. Some of you guys have been contacting me and asking me what sort of torch should you use if you're trying to make a CNC plasma cutter. And you're asking me about these sort of torches. Well, I wouldn't use any of these. Anyway, guys, same as usual. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and uh, I'll show you what I'll use. Oh, don't forget, check out my new website, peachtools.com. So guys, I've been getting a couple of emails from you fellas. You guys want to make a homemade CNC machine, you know, one that goes like that, that's attached to a computer, you've got your torch attached to a computer. Uh, pretty good looking machines as far as I'm concerned, might be a bit much to make at home, but anyway, uh, maybe you fellas are a little bit brighter than me. But you want to know what sort of torch to, to use, and you ask me whether to use the PT31 or a P80 here. Um, they'll both work on a, on a 60 amp machine, even a 50 amp machine they'll work. But you don't want to use this size style of torch because this style of torch isn't going to work for you, is it? Because it's got um, it's got the right angle on here. Um, so if you if you're going like that, if you're going like that, it isn't going to work, is it? Because the, you've got the wrong angle on your torch head. So uh, and then so I know some of you guys are, are putting them like this, and then you're putting some sort of like hose clip or something on here and trying to do it like that. I reckon that's a pain in the bum, personally. Um, so I wouldn't use these style of torches at all. I'd use the model of torch, but I wouldn't use this style of torch. What I would use is this, guys. With your PT31 torch, if you watch any of my videos, you probably realise this is my favourite torch. But, um, yeah, I'd use the same model torch, but use the, uh, the straight version of it like this. And then, uh, I think they call it the pencil version of it. But, um, exactly the same as you can see, look on there. See that, guys? It's exactly the same end on it, so it uses exactly the same consumables and everything. And uh, if you're using these by hand, you can put a little a touch trigger on there, like so, just to operate your on-off switch. But if you're connecting it to the computer, it doesn't matter anyhow, you're hooking it straight up to your machine. So this is a lot easier to mount on your machine than going like this, the backwards and forwards and, and doing your thing, you know what I mean? And like I say, it uses the cheap consumables. The only thing with this is, is it's touch, it's a touch tor torch, it's not pilot art. So it actually has to touch on your metal. So well, I don't know if that makes a big difference or it doesn't make a big difference. But um, you can't get these in pilot art. Uh, probably because they have low amperage, I'd say. There's about 40 amp you can, maximum you can run on this sort of torch. So what I'll do later in the video, guys, is I'll fire up this torch and I'll just show you how it works. M much the same as this, but um, yeah, I like the style of them because they're, they're really good. Even if you want to use this by hand, it's quite a good little torch, you know. Anyway, that's all for this one. And the P80 torch like this, same sort of thing. Really good torch. Cheap to run too, but you get a bit more voltage amperage out of these. Like I say, they're from about 60 amp to 100, and I think 140 you can squeeze out of them. Um, but this is a pilot arc torch. You know, the pilot arc has a flame that comes out, so it doesn't have to touch your, touch your steel like that. But, um, yeah, not a bad looking torch, and like I say, they're cheap. But I wouldn't use this either, because once again, you're having the same problems. You can't hold it on your machine, and it doesn't work right. You've got the end of the handle like this sticking out, knocking into all sorts of things. So what you need to do, if you want to make one of them, is get one of these. They're pretty cool, exactly the same torch again, guys. See that? They're exactly the same, use the same consumables, but once again, they're a pencil style torch. And these, like I say, are pilot arc, so the flame comes out of there, and you uh, don't have to drag it on your metal. It's pretty cool. And these things are cheap. I think you can get a torch for about $28 or something, just to be a torch. And you can get a torch with a lead. I'll show you one in a minute. I think they're about 60 bucks or 70 bucks. So instead of what I'm saying is, instead of mucking around, guys, trying to attach this, you know, trying to attach this to your machine, You'd be far better off just getting another torch and a lead, or making up a lead, and just getting one of these cheap torches. That way you can swap and swap and change, and if your machine doesn't work out that, that flash, you always can go back to this one. So I'll show you how this cuts as well. It's pretty cool. So guys, there's my 80 to 100 amp. That's the big sucker. That's the uh, P80 torch. As you can see, it's got its own lead here, and it's got a little off on here. So what you do if you're going to use this for your CNC is you take your switch off there. Well, you don't need to take it off. You could uh, leave it on there, but just on the other end of your machine where the plug is, just plug that into your uh, computer control system, and that'll work good. Anyway, I'll cut this in the guts, and I'll show you how it works manually, guys. So, guys, so here we are, guys, try and cut with this. So, bear in mind, guys, that I've manually got to hold it the distance from the steel. So, uh, yeah, it might not be exactly perfect. Let's have a go.
So guys, here we've got the 40, 50 amp version of it, the little non-pilot arc one, so we'll uh, give that a crack and see what that cuts like now, eh? So guys, there's my little PT-31 with the straight torch, so we'll see how this sucker cuts, eh? But remember, this one's not pilot arc, so I'll have to drag it along the steel. All in all, pretty good really guys, done beautiful little torches and they're cheap, so yeah, I wouldn't muck around with anything else. So all in all guys, I reckon it's a lot easier just using these little torches, and like I say, they're as cheap as chips. You can buy just a basic torch, like I said, I think about 25 bucks or something for this one, and about 50 bucks for the long lead, and for this one here, I think they're about $13 or something like that, bugger all, 13 or 14 bucks, and if you want a lead on that, I think they're about 30 or 35 I don't know, but I uh, wouldn't be mucking around with... Um, with uh, this sort of torch anymore. It's just a lot easier just to get one of these little torches. And like I say, you can use it either way. That gives you a couple of torches for your machines. And you don't have to muck around trying to take this one off and on if you want to cut manually or whatever. You can just keep this one on for doing your automatic stuff. So guys, that's what I'd use. Either one of those torches if you're making a homemade CNC machine. Just depends how many amp your uh, plasma cutter is, what it can handle. Anyway guys, that's about it for the day. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and don't forget to go and check out my new website, peachtools.com. See you next time. Peachtools.com